What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG with a brand new video for you today. I know it's been a while, but hopefully you do appreciate me coming back for this new give cards to friends. It is a hard glitch method, so you can go ahead and glitch out and take seven cars through the facility. So this is a one-time glitch out for seven vehicles at the facility. So if you know the facility glitch already, you can basically skip the last half of this, but I will be showing you how to receive DMO vehicles because they are a little bit different and sometimes they can be a little difficult. So I will go over those with you in today's video. So the first thing that we need to get this going is we wanna make sure our spawn location is set for our CEO office. So I'm at Mays Bank Tower. And we're also gonna to wanna to make sure the TV behind us is turned on. Once we have that set up, we can go ahead and start the glitch. Now, as you can see here in the background, we do actually have the TV turned on now. And before we actually start the first part of this glitch, I also wanna note that make sure your facility is full of street cars. All right, so you need to have street cars without any insurance for as many vehicles as we are going to receive. Once you have that done, your friend is going to be waiting for you up there. Now, this is only going to work for Xbox and PS4 version of GTA. This does not work for the PS5 version. So now we're ready to glitch out. We're going to walk over to the sofa here in the top left hand corner. It should give us the option to sit down. We're going to hit options, go over to online and hover over the criminal enterprise starter pack. Now, this part here does require a bit of timing. What we're going to want to do is hold start and then we're going to tap X on criminal enterprise starter pack and let go of start. If done correctly, we should be able to open up our interaction menu here in the actual criminal enterprise starter pack. Now, we cannot use our left joystick at this point. It's very important we do not touch our left joystick. We want to just use the touchpad on the controller. But before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to hit right on the D-pad once. So we'll actually be sitting down and you can hear us sitting down in the background. Then what we want to do is hit right on the D-pad one more time so that the channel selection comes up. Once the channel selection comes up, we can go ahead and hit left on our joystick at this point. And in the top left hand corner, you should see that we're spectating. So how you know you've hit this is you'll have the TV menu in the bottom right hand corner. At that point, we can touch the actual left joystick, but only at that point. Once we've done that, we can go here into Dynasty, uh, Property Dynasty, Dynasty 8, and we want to open up the website. Once we open up the website, we're going to go over to our CEO office that we currently own, and we want to renovate it. Now we can just change the organization name because this doesn't cost nothing. So we can just go ahead and change the font of our organization name, click on renovate and save it. Now, once we've hit buy and saved it, wait till it's done finished pending there. Now we can just hit triangle to exit the internet. Now we'll still be sitting on the couch at this point, but we won't be able to open up our options or our start menu. So what we want to do is pull up our phone and then from the web browser in the phone, we will then be able to hit options. We're going to open up and expand the map. We're going to go click over by our facility and we want to job teleport. So at this point, I do recommend being in assisted aim lobby because if you're in assisted aim lobby, you can use Anawak to join off of and do a job teleport from this port from this point. If you want to use one of your friends, that's fine as well. If you have a friend that's in a different targeting mode, you can use them as well. But for the video, I will be using Anawak. So I am currently in assisted aim and I'm going to bounce off of Anawak to P4, which is his PS4 account. And he's always in a free aim lobby. So I'm just going to join off him, accept the first alert and deny the second alert. Once we have done the job teleport, we will spawn over by our facility. And at this point, our friend has gone ahead and got a streetcar for us. Uh, just saves a little bit of time. So they can go ahead and call out their phantom wedge and they can get a streetcar and bring it over to the facility. Now, as you can see here, I've got lined up my cars from DMO that I'm going to be receiving. Now, note how where they are parked right now. I will be moving them later because with DMO, for some reason, when you go to receive a secondary vehicle, it may it might say that you are unable to access 
the facility with that vehicle. So we have to make sure they're parked really close, which I will show you when I receive the second vehicle. But for now, they're okay where they are. And we're gonna walk into our facility. And all we wanna do is pull out one of the, the other streetcars that we've already pre-saved in here. So right now I've got seven streetcars in here. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna be receiving seven cars. So I've gone ahead and filled it up with seven streetcars with no insurance, just pulled off right off the highway and brought them into the facility. So I can drive this one out here. My friend again has another streetcar waiting for me. So we're just gonna pull this out. And when we drive it out, it's gonna be bricked. We're not gonna be able to move it, not gonna be able to do anything with it. So we're just gonna leave it right here. Now we're gonna go over to the yellow circle while our friend is going to go ahead and park the other streetcar up on the yellow circle so he can go ahead and flip us over. Most of you guys should be familiar with this part here already. So he's just gonna park the vehicle right here. He's gonna walk out and go over to his phantom wedge. I'm just holding up my interaction menu here so I don't accidentally go inside. I'm just gonna get into the vehicle. And when I enter the vehicle, I am going to close my interaction menu and we're gonna get the facility full alert. All right, so make sure this is full, very important. Now, once we're on this full alert, our friend is gonna simply flip us over in the phantom wedge so that we are on top of the vehicle or on our side. So it can either be right upside down or on our side, either way. We wanna wait till it's completely upside down or on its side and we're no longer rocking or moving. When that happens, we're gonna go ahead and accept our facility full alert. So our friend is just gonna tell us, okay, you are good, you are on your back. Go ahead, accept the facility alert. At this point, we can go ahead and hit triangle to exit the vehicle once we have accepted that alert. Now we're going to go ahead and have our friend blow up our street vehicle. So as you can see here in the background, the street vehicle that we pulled out of the facility, he's just going to throw some sticky bombs on it and blow it up. Okay, there it goes. Perfect. You'll get the vehicle has been destroyed in the top left hand corner. Now what we can do is just run over, grab one of these DMO vehicles that we have uh, here in the background and simply drive it in. Now this will work no problem for the first vehicle where I am parked right now. But for some reason, when we go to receive the secondary vehicles, if they're this far away, they will not work. So I'm just gonna park it here on the yellow circle with my interaction menu open, uh, then I'm just gonna close it and it should just drag me and pull me in to the facility. Now when we do get the facility full alert, we wanna make sure that we do not accept the full alert the vehicle is just automatically going to go into the spot where that blown up streetcar was. So we do not want to accept any alerts here. We're just going to simply decline the alerts and you will see the vehicle in that spot. Now, the cool thing about this method is the vehicles will actually have insurance. So with the old facility method, the vehicles did, ha did not have insurance. So we had to make sure that we went in and applied the insurance after the fact. Uh, but for somehow, with this method, they actually keep the insurance, or they have insurance, so you're all good there. So as you can see, the vehicle is here. I'm going to skip ahead in the video just to show you the second way of how I receive another DMO vehicle. Very important, before we bring out the second streetcar, we want to make sure the next vehicle or vehicles that we are going to be receiving are parked very close to the yellow circle like you just saw there. If we do drive out another streetcar from our facility, it is going to be bricked and we're not going to be able to drive those DMO vehicles closer to the yellow circle. So what you do after you receive the first vehicle is just walk out on foot, move the vehicle, next vehicle closer to that yellow circle or vehicles. You want to have them as close as possible, but without being on top of the door. If they're on top of the door, they might despawn. So make sure they're still on the grass just underneath the yellow circle. Once we have those set up, then we can go into our facility and pull out another streetcar like I just did here, and it's gonna be bricked as usual. So that's why we cannot pull them after the fact because they would be bricked as well. So once we have this out here, we're gonna have our friend pull up another street vehicle like before, he's gonna flip us over and we're gonna be able to receive the secondary vehicle. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to that part right now so you don't have to watch the whole flip and all that kind of stuff all over again. So here we are. We've already been flipped over. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get into this vehicle after my friend has blown up my other vehicle. 
and it should just pull me in. If it's not going to quite pull me in right away, just pull the gas a little bit so you get a little closer to that yellow circle. But the main thing here, for some reason, the further you're away, uh, it will not let you receive the vehicle. It'll say you cannot enter the facility with this vehicle. So for any vehicle after one, if you're doing two, three, four, five, six, seven vehicles, just make sure you pull them up closer to the yellow circle. Uh, this way they will just drag you in automatically. So it does work 100% of the time. As you can see here, there it was. So we're just going to simply cancel that replace and you'll just see it in the spot. So because I have two other cars already beside the yellow circle, I can now just drive out the next one and rinse and repeat. But if I didn't have them set up, I want to make sure I go out on foot first to move that vehicle closer to the yellow circle. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. Sorry for the long one, but I just want to make sure I covered everything for you. So I hope you did enjoy. If you're the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. If you want to become a channel member, you can click join now down below. Stay tuned for more videos like this one. Until the next one, this is SCG. I'm out.